Well, it's all eyes on who will be the next mayor of Mangaung municipality in the Free State. We've seen how ANC factional battles and service delivery failures have led to the municipality being placed under administration. This, of course, led to the ousting of Mayor Oli Mlamleli a year ago. She, of course, is part of the corruption trial. Now, ANC Free State task team announcing its mayoral candidate. Senior reporter Superman Lagoge following this for us. He joins us now from Bloemfontein. Hi, Sipa. So. It was in August 2020 that Bloemfontein last had a mayor. Why has it taken so long? It's because of internal squabbles within the ANC caucus in the Mangaung metro. And that's the only reason really that has taken so long for the ANC to come up with a mayoral candidate. Their caucus has been plagued by divisions, infighting, factions, so they were not agreeing on the names that were being proposed, and that has halted service delivery here in Mangaung. Mangaung Metro is the only metro in the province of the Free State, and it's really shocking that for almost a year now, this metro has been without an executive mayor, and the ANC caucus has been fighting amongst themselves. They have been failing to resolve their political differences, and that has meant that service delivery in the area has been halted. If you drive around the city, you can see for yourself potholes everywhere. There is no refuse collection, and it's been a state of decay, you know. This municipality has been accused of fair. Uh, basically being run down by ANC factions here. You talk about allegations of maladministration, allegations of corruption. It's under administration as we speak. But finally, the ANC has been able to put forward the name of Mkolisi Sionzana, who is the speaker of the same municipality. At some point, he was the deputy mayor. Of course, he worked very well with the outstanding mayor, Mayor Oli. Many people were asking, well, what will change because he's been part of the leadership set up in this municipality. But uh, these are the names that the ANC in the Free State says they were put forward and then they outline why the name of Mkolisi was eventually chosen in consultation with the National Executive Committee of the Governing African National Congress. Let's listen to the coordinator of the ANC in the Free State explaining. The three names that were recommended are Comrade Mkolisi Sionzana, Comrade Mapaseka Nkwani, and Comrade Millicent Mutingwe. All candidates demonstrated capacity at the interview on matters relating to ANC policy, broad local government issues, challenges confronting Mangao Metro, municipality, and possible solutions. They all performed well, and the national officials uh, um, of the ANC then resolved that Comrade Nkolisi Sionzani would be an ANC candidate for the mayoral position in Mangawu. The IPC is satisfied that the process was conducted fairly, and those that were recommended demonstrated capacity, as we said. So I'm wondering how another Ngolisi is feeling about this. And this is a name that we, we've come to know quite well from the, the Free State, and that's Ngolisi Dukwana, really outspoken against Ace Mahashule. Talk to me about the divisions uh, within the ANC caucus in the municipality. At least Mkolisi Dugwane, together with his collective leadership here, or leadership collective here in the Free State, remember Mkolisi Dugwane is the convener of the interim provincial structure of the ANC following the disbandment of the Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC in the Free State after they lost their appeal there to the Supreme Court of Appeal. So Mkolisi Dugwane is very clear that, yes, the divisions within the caucus of the ANC in this municipality have collapsed the city. He says they are working to re build that to regain the lost ground. Remember, they are worried about the upcoming local government elections. We are only left with few months to go to the next local government elections. Mkolisi Duwane admitting when we asked them a question, how do they feel about this? Are they worried about the prospects of electoral decline in Mangaung for the ANC? This is what he had to say. Divisions in the caucus of the ANC in the municipality have actually led to our people not being serviced. 
and this actually is going to have a, a far-reaching uh, bearing on the people, on, on, the, on the elections, especially the performance of the ANC. But if this uh, 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 you know, uh, leadership of the municipality are able to, to, to work together as we anticipate, they have a possibility and a chance of turning things around and demonstrating that a united organization, a committed organization, can actually deliver as expected. And in this fashion, we can actually salvage the ground that we have lost and, uh, and win back uh, all other uh, uh, people who, who did not want to vote for the ANC in the past. So what do you make of this, Sipa Mandla? Is this Mkholisi Dukwana feeling that things are finally becoming healed, or do you think he's making the best uh, of a, an uncomfortable choice, perhaps, for him? It's a combination of both, really. He has no choice but to accept the candidate that has been put forward. Remember, the interim structure that is in place here is a collective leadership, so they have to work together. It is an open secret that in the free state divisions within the ANC itself in the province have been visible, and they continue to be visible. So Mkoli Sitowana, together with those who he leads with in the interim provincial structure, are trying so hard to work to unite the ANC in the province. It will take time especially when it comes to the issue of deployments within the province, whether you're talking about the local government sphere, mayors, and also the provincial executive in the provincial government. So Mkoli Sitowane has a difficult task here. It's a difficult balancing act for him and his collective leadership. All right, so when is the council meeting? And I'm presuming that of the three candidates, um, Kolisi Sianzana is the, the favourite. Yes, he is the favorite. The ANC will nominate him when the council meeting sits. It was meant to be convened tomorrow on Friday, but we have since learned that it's no longer going to take place on Friday because the council was unable to give a 48-hour notice to all the parties represented here at the council. So therefore, it simply means that the notice was issued today. It will take 48 hours, which is Thursday and Friday. Therefore, the meeting can only be convened on Monday. The expectation now is that the council meeting to elect the new mayor of Mangaung Metro will take place on Monday. Monday, and the ANC will submit Mkolisi as their candidate. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for chatting to us uh, from the Free State. That's our senior reporter, Sipamandla Gorgon.